What up YouTube? Wesker Griff coming back with a giveaway response for Baseball Collector. He is currently doing a 700 subscriber giveaway up on his channel so I highly suggest that you guys check it out. It is for the YouTube Hall of Fame. He wants us to vote on who we believe in the card community deserves to be in the YouTube Hall of Fame. So similar to the Baseball Hall of Fame you can vote up to 10 people. So I will of course be voting for at least 10 people um i've been around here on youtube since 2010 and i've made a lot of great friends here in this community have met a lot of great people and i've seen people come and go in this community and it's really extremely difficult to only pick 10 people uh, i think everyone has said that in their responses but uh, i tried to do my best uh, just to take you real quick through the thinking of my voting process, everyone that I voted for, I believe, had a great impact on the community, have helped a wide range of people in this community, uh, started something new in the community, or um, have at least been making videos for going four years back. So that was the that was the minimum criteria you had to at least been making videos uh, daily videos for a four year period so that eliminated uh, quite a number of people from uh, potential from potentially getting my vote so uh, that made my job a little bit easier but that that's how I was able to trim down my list a little bit but I could easily do a list of like 30 to 40 people who deserve to be but uh, alas it's uh, only 10 so I'm going to start off the list by naming this person first. I'm going to start on a somber note and uh, list Billy, Cheater Demand One. He's a YouTuber that nobody has mentioned yet, and honestly, it makes me a little bit sad that no one has mentioned him. Uh, Billy was a great, awesome YouTuber. Unfortunately, he passed away back in 2011. Uh, he died suddenly, and his whole, all his videos are still up on YouTube. Uh, to my knowledge, he was one of the first people here on YouTube to just open a random pack of cards and show what's in a random pack of baseball, football, basketball, or hockey cards. Uh, because pre prior to that, it was people busting boxes and doing cases and, you know, doing more higher-end products. But Billy just took a product from, you know, the local Target, the local Walmart, the local Kmart. And now everyone does that. But Billy was one of the first to do it. And... Like I said, unfortunately, he passed away. Obviously, you can see his last video was six years ago because that's when he passed. But um, I'd never forgot him. I still check out his videos every once in a while. I still watch some of them. Uh, usually every month or so, I'll check out a few of them. Um, he was just a really great tuber. He made a lot of trades. Uh, he sent out a lot of care packages. And... Um, He's definitely one person I thought about when uh, the YouTube Hall of Fame came to mind. So, Billy Jeter, Demand One. Uh, the next person here is PuffBear359. Puff was a major player here on the YouTube card community. He was actually one of the first people that I saw a card video on. Um, I think his most viewed video is of his card room, which is absolutely insane. I think it's since been remodeled, though. Uh, but he is a Yankee collector. He has an insane Yankees collection, uh, but he also collects Don Maddenly as well. And uh, the biggest thing about Puff, though, that I remember is he used to just send out insane, insane care packages to people. And uh, he would just blow up everyone's mailbox once in a while, sending out insane stuff. An extremely generous and extremely quotable YouTuber. He used to have tons of quotes, whether it be um, L O T B Dookie, uh, or saying players' names a certain way. Um, uh, used to say Chin Ming Wang, he would say Ching Ding Dong, and he, just stuff like that. He had his own uh, little verbal uh, lingo that he would use in his videos that were really quotable and uh, really fun to watch. And he used to make 20 minute videos, 30 minute videos of his mail day or breaking uh, some products. And uh, yeah, he was one of the. Uh, one of the first wave of YouTubers to do that. So PuffBear359 definitely gets my vote. Next is another YouTuber who had a huge impact on me is Mike of the Autograph Network. 
Uh, Mike was one of the first people that I actually found on YouTube because he was a TTMer. He was one of the first people to make a TTM video here on YouTube. Uh, the others being Stacy Schaefer and Zane Savage. But Mike was extremely outgoing, always was looking to help new members of the community, um, encourage people to make videos, encourage people to participate. And he always watched other people's videos and he always supported other people. Um, he was just a really great guy. Um, he's still semi-active here on YouTube. Uh, he hasn't made a video in five months because he's been going through a lot and is uh, outside of YouTube in the real world. But Mike still collects and he still TTMs and he's still helping people. An awesome, awesome guy and definitely a person that deserves to be in the YouTube Hall of Fame. Next is AR Falc 77 Michael, I mean, what else has to be said about this guy? Um, I really can't add too much uh, about Michael, uh, but he's one of the founders of this community, one of the people that has laid the groundwork for what we have here on YouTube, and uh, just an awesome person. He recently started the YouTube Hall of Gamers uh, Facebook page, which is my favorite group on YouTube. Love... Uh, Love checking that group every single day, and uh, he's just done a lot for everyone here in the community. So he's definitely extremely deserving of being in the YouTube Hall of Fame. Next is Tommy Golf 85, another person that a lot of people have mentioned, and really not too much I can add else to the conversation other to say that Tommy is just a extremely entertaining, funny, and awesome YouTuber. I will say every time I see his video up in my subscriber feed I click immediately and watch it uh, he's must watch YouTube television so uh, really awesome tuber and he always calls it like it is straight shooter and a superstar next and this is a pretty good segue is Ricky Russo and uh, Ricky I have met him in person he is probably the only person on this list that I have met in person which is kind of odd because a lot of people uh, have not met Ricky, but I'd met him at the White Plains show, and he's a very genuine dude, extremely funny in person. Uh, the way he acts on YouTube is the way he acts in person, and to watch him negotiate deals at card shows is hilarious and fun, and uh, it's probably the most fun I've ever had at a card show. But more importantly, Ricky overall here on YouTube has produced 4,000 videos. Just think about that. He has made over 4,000 videos here on YouTube. And a lot of them are of box breaks and case breaks. And Ricky, that's what he does. He breaks boxes and he breaks cases. He keeps the amazing cards for his collection and he, and he uh, sells the, uh, the stuff he doesn't want. And uh, he's a collector and also a dealer, and he has made a impressive collection for himself, and he has showed us what is in a lot of these products. And that's one of the main reasons I don't bust any products, I mean, or buy any hobby boxes, because I watch Ricky's videos, and I see some of the cards he gets, and sometimes he gets really skunked on a lot of these boxes. And... Uh, sometimes he does really good, but for the most part, uh, it's like gambling. You seem to lose more than you win, and uh, I saw the light watching all Ricky's videos that way. Um, so he's definitely another person I would add on my list, and he just made the cutoff because uh, he was in that four year of making video time span up, and apparently my computer's about to die. But uh, let's speed this along. Hopefully I can get this in. Uh, next is King of Steak, Gary. Uh, another person that has brought the community together with his Tube Trader cards. Uh, did Tube Traders 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, hilarious YouTuber. Uh, his video responses were legendary. Whether he be dancing in the middle of a damn highway with a cop cruiser telling him to get the hell off the road. Or whether he be throwing firecrackers on himself. Uh, Gary has since taken down a lot of his videos, but one of the founding members of this community uh, started making videos back in 2006. Phenomenal, phenomenal YouTuber, one of the founders. Next is Funky Diabetic One, Anthony. Uh, Anthony, really good friend of mine, and to my knowledge, one of the first people to do the PSA DNA submissions. Uh, he started that around four to five years ago. 
and um, a lot of people would send in their stuff to get slabbed. I know I used to, and Anthony used to run that really well. Unfortunately, it became really overwhelming, so he stopped doing it. But Anthony, awesome, awesome YouTuber, definitely a guy that would get my vote, and one of my good friends on here. So, I, Anthony, if you're watching this, brother, please come back to start making videos. I know you haven't made one in over a year, but it would be really nice to see you come back. Next is Thunder and 24 Chad. Look at that one video over here. 1 million, close to 2 million views. That has to be a YouTube card community record. Uh, Chad, one of the founders here in the community as well, started making videos in 2007, 2006, around there, and has an insane Ken Griffey Jr. collection and really laid the groundwork on uh, showing cards here on YouTube, so a part of that first wave of oh, Jesus. But uh, yeah, a guy that would get my vote. Next is a guy who started around the same time as me, Tops85401, Nate. Um, he did the Baseball Card Junkies TV channel, which has brought a lot of excitement into the YouTube card community. But uh, he's just a real genuine person, real, real great guy, uh, and has never taken a break from YouTube. Has constantly made videos, whether it was on his old channel and Blackboard 1412, or whether it was on here. So Nate would get my vote as well. And that's it. That's the final 10 people for my vote. Uh, Jeter Demand 1, Pup Bear 359, uh, The Autograph Network, AR Falc 77, Tommy Golf 85, Ricky Russo, King of Steak, Funky Diabetic 1, Thunder and 24, and Tops 85401. So thanks guys for watching. Thanks Baseball Collector for making a great contest. And take care guys. Sorry for the rush job here at the end, but the laptop's about to die. Peace, guys. Thank you.